look, I just think it's just very interesting. That's that's all I'm going to say. Um, but hey, uh, it is what it is. Uh, really? I mean, you know, I think if it was me that wasn't vaccinated, I wouldn't be getting an exemption. Um, and that's, you know, but well done, you know, well done to him for getting clear to come to Australia and, and compete. Uh, look, I don't know the criteria for exemptions. Um, yeah, apparently it's an independent panel. Um, he must have fit the criteria somehow. Um, so yeah, if he's if he's fit the criteria, then uh, yeah, he's, he should be able to come. I think it's a disgrace. We've all done the right thing. We've all gone out and got our our jabs and our boosters, and um, we have someone that's come from overseas, and all of a sudden he's he's been exempt and can play. And I think it's an absolute disgrace, and I won't be watching it. I'm I'm a a Melbourne boy, but I'm travelling from overseas, and I can sort of um, just pick up the, the sort of the enmity and sort of um, aggression towards him. So I guess he might even get booed when he gets up onto the court. I suppose whilst I support the Australian Open and the money it generates for the, the city and everything like that, I, I really don't agree with there being one rule for one and another rule for others. So I feel that there should be some, he shouldn't be allowed to come. It's his choice not to be vaccinated, which is fine. And it's, I think the government here has made the choice that, you know, you should be vaccinated. It's reasonable if he has uh, actual medical problems with that. Um, but if he's just saying that to get in and doesn't have um, actual reason for it, uh, I guess that's a little bit more iffy, especially if, um, especially if he's coming to Victoria where everyone's, you know, has to abide by the same regulations. So I think uh, the sports star should kind of have the same kind of things that we have. I don't know the process. My first instinct was it, it's not fair, but I did read that it was a double blind sort of assessment. So who knows? Well, my view is that any individual seeking to enter Australia must comply with our border requirements. Now, Novak Djokovic, when he arrives in Australia, I'm not quite sure when he's going to turn up, but I don't think it's too far away, he has to because if he's not vaccinated, he must provide acceptable proof that he cannot be vaccinated for medical reasons um, and to be able to access the same travel arrangements as fully vaccinated travellers. So we await his presentation and what evidence he provides to support that. If that evidence is insufficient, then he won't be treated any different to anyone else and he'll be on the next plane home. So the process has been, been very clear and, and we completely understand and empathise with, uh, with, first of all, some uh, People have been upset about the fact that Novak has come in because of his, his statements over the past couple of years around vaccination. Um, however, it's ultimately up to him to discuss with the public his condition if he chooses to do that and the reason why uh, he received an exemption. Uh, we as an event, uh, also as a state and as a country, will do everything we possibly can to give everyone an equal and fair opportunity to come into the country. I want to recognise and acknowledge uh, that this outcome is something that many in the Victorian community will find frustrating uh, and upsetting. But I want to make absolutely clear um, that, uh, as has been the case the whole time, um, no one uh, is or will be receiving special treatment because of who they are or what they have achieved professionally.